Hello everyone and welcome to Motorhomes with American Tom. I'm Tom and this is a brand new 2023 American Dream. We're really excited to take a look at a wonderful motorhome here. I think this is the best value you see with a 605 underneath it. We're going to take a look at everything we see outside of the motorhome, take a look at everything inside of the motorhome, and then me and my special guest, soon to be announced, are going to tell you everything we like and dislike about a motorhome. Let's get it on. This is the 2023 all new American Dream 45A. It's a great layout. Um, I want to introduce somebody for you here. We got a special guest all the way from Decatur, Indiana. Who are you? Taylor Foreman, uh, National Sales Account Manager for American Coach. Happy to be here with Tom at General RV in, in Dover, Florida. Uh, Taylor is a great resource for us and for every American Coach owner as far as the specifics about the motorhomes. He knows it all, so it's really great to have him here to take a look at the RV and give some very special insight from our factory there. So uh, let's get started. The first thing I want to point out is this beautiful Chesapeake exterior graphic. It's got some gray, some like a gunmetal gray, a little bit of maroon in there, but it has a great look to it. This is all Sickens uh, paint, um, lots of layers of paint in there. It's buff, it has a great look to it. Also, there's a lot of chrome here. It's an American coach. They're going to have a great exterior graphic. Look at the front cap. Um, with the whole bottom piece that comes out with your uh, generator there. Great look to it. Uh, you've got the nice chrome piece. Something else that makes this coast look very sleek um, on the exterior is how they have those recessed slides. If you can take a look right here. Because of the HWH hydraulic slides that they use, they can have a perfect recess without that big overlap. So I think it just adds to the sleek nature of this beautiful coach. The drop down mirrors in the front, if you take a look at the front, I mean, that's a great look. Um, also, you've got the dual Gerards. So your Gerards, which are painted, go all the way from front to back of the motorhome, giving you a great amount of coverage from the sun. That is a great look. So while we're right here, let's talk about what makes American Coach truly special, and that is your Liberty Bridge Foundation and Chassis. It's a partnership between American Coach's engineers and designers to provide the strongest frame of an RV with Freightliner's best components. So let's talk about that frame, the Liberty Bridge. What most RV manufacturers are doing is they're taking a raised rail chassis platform um, and then adding some sort of bracing to the vehicle to add some rigidity to it. This chassis is built, not braced. They replace those C-channel rails with much stronger I-beams that go from the front all the way to the back of the motorhome that add extra rigidity and strength to that chassis. They also custom fit the underneath design. Um, but by having that I-beam strength there, it keeps the coach from twisting the same way. Get rid, gets rid of creaks, rattles in the RV, and just adds some extra strength and adds some longevity of your ride and drive of the motorhome. Um, some, let's talk about features. Also in your front axle, it's an independent front suspension, front axle, 17,000 pounds built by Freightliner. Your drive axle is the V-Ride suspension to add to your roll stability of the vehicle and some extra strength in that foundation. And then your rear axle is a steerable tag axle. So with what you have in the independent front suspension and the steerable tag axle, you have what Freightliner calls Ultra Steer, which gives you 17% better um, turn turnability here, I guess, uh, to add to a very tight turn. This is a 45 foot long coach. So to have that extra maneuverability within that size really makes a difference in how, um, how this coach is going to handle. We'll talk a little bit more about the technology um, that's a part of that Freightliner chassis when we get inside. But I want to ask our great friend here, Taylor, what am I missing on the chassis here? So as Tom pointed out, the biggest thing with American Coach, what we do differently from the ground up is our Liberty Bridge chassis that's uh, married together with that, with that Freightliner custom chassis. Tom mentioned industry standard C-channels. We throw those out the window and put two big 8-inch I-beams in place of those C-channels. So it is a built foundation, not braced, to give you a much more stable and smoother ride throughout throughout the length of this coach. Okay, so let's get on uh, on with the, the show here and go through a few things. Now with most RVs, what you see in your first bay is kind of a half bay because this is where you would typically have a fuel tank. Uh, this coach does have a 150 gallon fuel tank, but with part of that Liberty Bridge, they bring the fuel tank back to the middle of the RV here 
um, that gives you a more consistent ride up front. I mean, think about it, 150 gallons, that weighs like a thousand pounds. Whether you have a full or an empty tank, could mean a huge difference of weight right there on your front axle. By moving it to the back, your weight distribution is way better designed and it's gonna give you more consistency in that ride. That way you don't have too much of a bouncy setup. But in these first two pass-through bays, you have pull-out trays that come out either side. This one has the optional fridge-freezer combo, so it has two separate trays that go out either side, and that's a great addition. While we're talking about this portion of the chassis, what a lot of brands have is some sort of plywood base maybe a carpeted cover or a fiberglass sheet. This Citadel fiberglass that you have inside of the bays here, it's really easy to clean, it's very durable, and there is no wood underneath the baseline of the chassis. So that is a significant increase in the quality of your storage that you have underneath. Way easier to keep clean, no carpet, no wood. That's just a great additional feature that you see as part of that Liberty Bridge Foundation. Um, right here, you've got your exterior entertainment system that's a samsung smart tv this comes out turns so you can adjust it to how you see fit and then you have a bose um, wireless bluetooth speaker that's behind this at the top so you have uh, some extra sound right there um, this is one of your fuel fills you have one on each side for that 150 gallon fuel tank um, right here you have the hydraulic reservoir for both your automatic leveling system and your hwh hydraulic slides we love these hydraulic slides not only does it give you this flush look but they're more reliable made right here in america and wonderful as far as warranty and service support goes uh, moving back here this is your battery bay those are eight 100 amp hour waterless agm batteries this is a huge amount of power for a big rv um, what's really nice about this too is how they're set in an easy to get to space um, and they're maintenance free so that's always really nice right here in this bay you don't have a ton of storage but that's because your water tanks are mounted behind this bay they utilize this little bit of space you have here for your automatic transfer switch the solar charge controller the battery control center um, and then and separate inverter disconnects so that's a nice little space here about those water tanks you have 105 gallons of fresh water 75 for the gray tank and then 50 gallons for your sewer tank um, moving on to the back, like I said before, this is your V-Ride drive axle and then your steerable 14,000 pound tag. Um, I want to point out these are 315s, so that's a lot of tire right there. The extra rubber uh, gives you a little bit more cushion to make that ride even more smooth. Your last bit here, you have some chassis maintenance items. I want to point out here that the def tank is a 15 gallon. You know, most of them are 13.2 gallon, that little bit makes a difference for how often you have to fill it up. Starting chassis batteries here, your air drop, air dryer, water separator. Now with this big chassis here, I didn't mention before, but this has the X15 605 horsepower Cummins engine. Um, you have that, the Allison 4000 series transmission. This is a ton of power on what I believe is the best value 605 on the market. This tows 20,000 pounds. So that's a ton of weight. If you have a long trailer or anything heavy, or even if you have something small, it's just gonna be very simple for this RV to pull it without you even having to know that it's back there. Um, also, you have Freightliner's built-in brake sync option here. So if you go with an air-assisted braking system as part of your tow package, uh, hooks right up to the vehicle. Brake sync is um, under your warranty through Freightliner for five years, 100,000 miles. And it also has a separation um, for the airline to it. So if there is a loss of power there, it's not going to damage your tow vehicle. So it's a nice little safety feature that's built in there. Moving around to the side, of course this chassis has your side radiator, so you have a big radiator right there. This is a passenger side fill for that DEF tank, so just like your fuel tank up front, you can fill the DEF tank on either side of the vehicle. This is going to be a potable water fill for your 105 gallon fresh water tank. And then right here, you see this big piece, that is your exit door. We're going to show what that looks like from the inside, but it will come down all the way to the ground so you can safely exit in the event of an emergency. Um, axle, axle right here. So here is your service bay. A um, couple nice things to point out here. You have a power electric and power water reel. Of course, you have a 50 amp service here and then a um, electric reel that you can just push a little button and reel that up. This saves you a ton of space. You don't have to roll that thing up in some weird bay somewhere and lose that base use. Um, you got it all built in right here. Whole house water fill, black and gray tank fills. You also have a wireless control right there so you can check um, where things are at, control your lights on the outside, um, an outside shower, and then this has a built-in macerator as well. So very convenient, right here, easy to use. 
Um, I like how they put things together. It's very smart in its design. You've got a little paper towel holder and a little soap spitz right there. Also these doors, very sturdy, very heavy insulated um, aluminum baggage doors with the chrome piece on the bottom. The, um, some brands, even in this category, have these handles that are kind of uh, flimsy and they don't close right. Simple. You know, I like how these uh, open up really comfortably. This bay has your aqua hot system in here. This aqua hot is a hydronic heating system and tankless hot water heater for the whole RV. And when you go up to the 450 aqua hot, you also have the built-in engine block heater. So you can either use your engine's heat to heat your coach or you can warm up your engine using your aqua hot system. That dual use makes this very efficient. Um, the bigger aqua hot that you see here has a lot of heat exchangers as well. In addition to its efficiency and getting away from the reliance on propane, making an all-electric coach, um, it also is more um, comfortable. Propane can sometimes dry out the air that's inside of the RV. When you use diesel as your fuel source um, in the aqua hot system, it's more accurate and it doesn't change the humidity. So it's really uh, comfortable and it's using going to go some cold weather. This bay right here is just a little extra storage, but you have your dirt devil right there. Um, this also has UV light. I didn't see that. It might be in this bay. Yes, your UV light system that you have built into the RV is um, it uses this um, what kind of light. Is it? It's a UV light. It's a UV yep, light. Yep. Okay, UV light. That makes sense. That UV light that shines into your black tank right there uh, keeps odor causing bacteria from building up into your tank. So it's just a a cleanliness sanitation kind of feature that they've added it was more common in some of your higher end um, custom coaches but american coach offers that in their production american dream right here last two bays are going to be the other sides of your pass-throughs great storage got the citadel fiberglass things really nice right there um, that is an actual power window which is a nice feature and i'm going to put this slide out just because i like the way it operates. The whole front end of that cap comes out. Um, also, you have a 12,500 watt Cummins Onan generator, so plenty of power for that whole RV. Um, I just wanted to show you that little bit. While we're right here, there's also a cool feature in this uh, little American flag thing. Just a stainless steel piece they add, but I'm a big fan. I like that. This thing closed up. All right, we've seen the outside. Let's go inside and see what it looks like with the slides in. And let's get the lights on. Come on in, buddy. So, even with the slides in, of course, this is how you travel. You can get through the RV pretty comfortably, make your way all the way back here. Tons of space in your kitchen. You can open up this fridge, get to the bathroom without a problem. All right, let's get this thing opened up. All right, now that we got this thing opened up, you can see this floor plan is huge. Tons and tons of space, huge living area. I do want to start out up front, but before I do, um, if you're enjoying the video, like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. We love to uh, let as many people know about this uh, Mer uh, amazing coach as we can, uh, get the information out to whoever is looking to see it. And then again, I want to say big thanks to Taylor for checking us out. Of um, course, Tommy. Happy to be here. Happy to be a part of the video and uh, teach, the, teach the group a little bit about American Coach. You know what, why can't you show us a little bit about what we have going on up front? I always like to talk about Freightliner's drive tech and some of the great features you have up here. Tell us what you think. Yeah, so, so looking at Freightliner's drive tech, their focus is everything at the touch of your fingers. You're not taking your eyes off the road to um, change uh, gears or engage your park brake. Just to go from drive neutral reverse, all right here on the right paddle. Same thing with your engine brake. Just bring this down towards your knee. And on this uh, uh, American Dream, you're gonna have a three-stage engine brake. So everything's uh, right right where your eyes need to be, not taking your eyes off the road, hands off the wheel. And then looking at the OptiView, really clean display, LCD display from Freightliner. So another cool thing about this is, is you can actually change some of your, your uh, widgets up there. So, 
as well as steering effort. So American Coach comes standard with what we call Select Drive. It is a premium drive assist. So you can change that less or more. It allows the coach to, to assist you with driving. It, it, it adjusts the torque on the steering column so you're not fighting your coach to, to go straight on a windy day. And it also has all your other features at changing the gauges, your, your fuel econ um, your fuel econ economy, your mobile eye, road watch. Uh, another cool thing about American Coach, it comes standard with adaptive cruise control and active braking. So you can adjust all those things in, in your road watch function right here. So you can use either standard cruise control or, or the adaptive cruise control as well. Anything else up here? Well, I mean, I, I always like to point out um, uh, with that um, on guard situation that you have with Freightliner, I mean it has active braking, it has safety features built on on the side. In addition to that, you have up here the Mobileye collision avoidance system. So as far as safety goes, you've got every part of a safety feature that you can have for the vehicle. Also right up here in the dash, it's kind of by your left hip, hip where Taylor's sitting, you have controls for your um, leveling system. This has two different types of leveling. So you have your hydraulic leveling and then you also have an air leveling system which is really great. Um, that adapts when you're driving down the road as well so if you're in a certain type of road uh, in the places you take this RV it'll level you back out. It just adds to the ride quality even more. Also these Excite panels that you have here are great. I just turned them off but you have control to your navigation system. Um, your radio system, which you don't really see it here, but you have a custom-tuned JBL sound system built into both the dash and the motorhome itself. Um, at the factory, when we went up to see Taylor the last time, and uh, I mean, we get this thing up nice and loud just to hear the crisp quality in that sound system. So if you're in something like the American Dream, you might as well have all of those features built in, and you certainly do here. Um, looking at the dash, so you can see it has all these leather coverings to it, really nice um, contours, and um, it, it's just very luxury high-end. You even have a wireless phone charger built in there, and um, this one also has another feature over here for your passenger um, that's pretty cool, and this is your co-pilot monitor, so this has navigation, radio, your camera system all built in right here, so even in the the co-pilot seat here you can monitor and control various aspects of the RV that's very comfortable. Speaking of comfortable, this seat is fantastic. These road wire front seats that you have um, uh, pairs with your um, furniture all the way in the back, everything matches, uh, even the stitching is very clean, very comfortable seats. Um, this has the built-in perforated portions of it as well because this is an air conditioned and heated seat with a power footrest. I mean, it's a uh, it's really nice thing to see. And, and a lot of these seats, sometimes they make them almost too big or, or too small. This one fits really nice and um, I'm just a big fan of the seat. So, okay, let's move into the back here. Before we go too far, I want to stay up front, but I want to turn these ACs down real quick. Got them on high. Um, speaking of some of those components, this has three 15K ACs with heat pumps built into it, AC condensation drains. So what that is, is it takes the um, condensation that drains off of the RV. I don't know if you've ever seen um, where drips of water will come down by your door in the back of the RV, and it's drilled through the RV's walls to drain the condensation right underneath the RV so it's not getting in the way of you there. Just another luxury feature that works out very good. Um, above your head right here, Taylor, you've got lots of storage around to the front and look at these cabinets these Rushmore cabinets um, it's got the white cabinet built into it but they add some extra contour at your frames here so it gives the cabinet uh, more depth so it has that modern clean feel but also with some added depth to it so it doesn't feel like a doctor's office or something like that um, really nice storage all the way around these are all solid wood even behind there um, some controls for your satellite system um, okay, let's move back into the, the living room area here. One thing I like about this as it compares to most floor plans with the crossed seating is you have bigger couches. This is a three seat couch instead of just the two or being a theater seating with a tiny piece in the middle. All of these recline, um, but it's, it's got that extra living room space that's going to be great for entertaining. I actually had one uh, customer who got one of these talk about how they don't like the theater seating because their dog sits next to them. This is perfect for 
that. So it's a really comfortable, nice setup. Your Rockport interior that you have here pairs really well with the Rushmore cabinets we were talking about. Let's get some of these open up. Um, I feel that the Rockport interior with this really dark flooring um, has very good contrast to it. Um, so it adds some extra depth to it. It's got really a luxury feel. Also, these dark tiles with the darker grout, really easy to keep clean. You know, so it's not super light and it's also not too dark either. So it's a really good contrast. Um, tons of storage in here with that added length of your couch system. It gives you even more um, space in the cabinets as well. Really solid, comfortable pieces you have in there. And then you have the Ozite lining in the cabinets too. So it keeps things really quiet, holds them in place a lot better. Um, just an extra quality feature there. As you look over here to your driver's side of your living room, you've got a pull-out bed here. It's a very large pull-out bed. It goes in the end of this three-seater couch. So when you do have guests, they've got a full queen-size bed. Uh, much more comfortable there. I was just putting the televator up so you have a nice big window when you'd like to see out there. And then you have a huge smart TV right across from your theater seating when you'd like to have that as well. Extra storage here. Another thing worth mentioning is that um, American Coach color matches their uh, power blinds. So these are all power blinds, but usually you just see a big black piece there. This gray color matched blind is just um, an added piece of the decor that makes it look really nice when you have things closed up. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, let's move back into the kitchen here. So huge kitchen, very wide as part of this 45A floor plan. You have an extra piece that comes out here. Really nice. Um, is this quartz? Quartz, yes. This is yep. quartz countertops, and it's Cambria quartz too, isn't it? Oh, so it's not Cambria. Okay, so this is still LG. quartz countertop. Yes. What most of them have is a Corian, which is a more malleable, lighter material. This quartz is very strong, very sturdy, and it's not as... Um, it's not going to have the same uh, damage to it. Scratches, if you've ever seen that in older coaches. The quartz is just a stronger, higher quality material. Um, lots of storage up here as well. So all together, we're looking at a great amount of storage. This piece down here. It's a really nice place to put some of your, I guess like these guys. You just drop them in there. Man, that thing's heavy. Um, and then also the black stainless. Um, sink right there. It's really nice one big basin style farmhouse sink um, Which I really like all of your appliances Fixtures with this black stainless really add a uh, sense of luxury to it You got your knock lock dishwasher just looks like a normal cabinet, but this is a Fisher pay cow um, RV dishwasher and then they actually recess your induction cooktop here see how it kind of covers up and gets out of the way so this is going to be counter space when you'd like it to be and then also your induction cooktop when you'd like it to be that as well um, also that kind of protects it there so that's a pretty nice setup this does have your table and chair set up but something ain't right here um, <laughs> this is a brand new unit we got them in the factory but we had a damage to one of the chairs so right now we have one of our um, little foot rest pieces sitting to hold this chair up um, this is all matching that you have around there. This, of course, will pull out and accommodate two more folding chairs. Um, lots of extra storage as part of this table and chair setup. Good storage up here, too. I can't stress how much storage this RV has. Being 45 feet with this big 605, I think this is a great layout for your full time or long term uh, travelers. Um, and every little bit of storage counts, you can't get enough of them. Um, also, you got your power. Um, towers right there on either side as we move to the back you've got a Samsung um, refrigerator here this is really nice ice and water right there on the door huge setup twin cooling which keeps the humidity in your freezer and fridge uh, at the right um, right settings and then this has the built-in uh, flex drawer so this can be a fridge freezer wine cooler whatever you'd like it to be uh, but this is a really nice uh, residential refrigerator just like you'd see in a Oh. Um, on top of the storage you have everywhere else in here, you have some extra nice pullouts with these really well-made drawers. The mechanics on this are just very smooth um, and they look pretty nice too. Um, and then right here, stackable Samsung branded washer dryer. Just like you'd have in a house, why not have the best of the best in the American dream? Um, now, something I really like to highlight with the American Coach, one of my best things about it, one of my favorites, 
is the technology package that you have. Um, as part of the tech package, you have, of course, everything we talked about in the chassis. You've got a, is it 300 watts? 300 watts of solar. 300 yep. watts of solar built in. You have a cell booster, a Wi-Fi ranger, uh, a satellite is typically paired as part of that package. The multiplex wiring system here is spectacular. This is a Firefly multiplex system, but very responsive, easy to use. You can control your aqua hot systems, see exactly where your fresh uh, gray and black tanks are as a percentage overall. You go into your power setting. I mean, you can see exactly what the RV's electrical system is doing right here. Control your inverter, the charger system. See a list um, for where the power is coming from, what's running, what's not. It takes all the confusion of an RV's electrical system and simplifies it in such a great way. Even control of what your solar system is doing. I think this is just wonderful and easy to use control for your lights your acs your aqua hot system the heating in your floor whether it's in the front or rear of the coach it's just very uh, user friendly um, even your blinds i mean you can control them all together or individually your slides your awning some this also has a really neat feature in that it controls from your cell phone but not just within 100 feet of the RV like you hear in basically everything else. I'll just say cell phone control. This has its own built-in wireless connectivity through the internet, which means that you can be 1,000 miles away, pick up your cell phone through the Vega Touch app, see where everything um, is, like your temperatures, everything you can do on here, you can do on that app no matter where you are in the world. So that adds a layer of... Um, safety, protection, and just knowledge of what's going on with your RV anywhere you're at. The only thing you can't do from afar is control your slides. They want you to be present to take the slides in and out, and that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, moving on to the back. Oh, I do want to point out that you have a tow kick and a central back system built in right here. Nice feature. Might as well have it. So here's your half bath. Um, all matching cabinetry of that Rushmore, same backsplash in here, same quartz, everything looks really nice, and you got a pretty good amount of space here in your in your half bath, plenty of elbow room, so this is approved. Moving on to the master suite of the RV, I think this is a very comfortable one. Um, here on the driver's side, of course you have your his and hers um, cabinets, lots and lots of drawers, and these are big, deep drawers with the soft close, really nice quality in here, definitely a big fan, um, great for storage, this whole floor plan is. Then you got a hidden one right here where you have a built-in sink. Same Ozite lining as you have everywhere else. Um, I really want to point out as far as that HWH slide, look how smooth this is. You know, most RVs, even RVs in this category with a 605 horsepower engine will have carpet or a little mesh um, cover that overlaps this piece, that HWH hydraulic slide allows for this coach to have a completely flush floor. Matching tile that's built exactly the way as the rest of the coach is, that is a great feature. Here on the passenger side, you have a king size, adjustable bed, tons of storage built in here. This one even has your CPAP hookup with power built in behind it. Um, underneath, you've got a controller that hooks up to your Firefly system. Um, which is just another added piece. I also like how they put your temperature sensor back here where you're sleeping instead of um, out in the coach somewhere. So it's just going to be a, a comfort feature that they uh, they were smart about. They really thought out how to do this. Both sides of the beds have wireless controllers, USB outlets, and uh, GFAI style plug-ins. So really well designed as part of uh, what they did for your master suite there. Now for the showstopper, let's go into the master bath. This RV has the biggest shower. Look at the length you got in there. You got a little seat built in, all tiled throughout, and really nice decor package. You've got the handheld um, shower as well as the rain style shower built in, but the decor on this is just really nice. Feels very luxury. Definitely a big fan. You got some extra storage here with some nice depth in it. You never really have a good closet um, for your towels and little things like that. Vanity. Great amount of space here, storage underneath. You have the undermounted sink built in, matching the black stainless um, fixtures. And then a huge hanging closet right here. Double hanger, um, roof to floor on this thing. 
there's your extra um, chairs right there but a really nice master suite I think this is just designed for your long-term campers okay Taylor now it's time for the fun part we've seen the RV inside and out now we got to talk about all the things we like and dislike in the motorhome I'm gonna get you to say something so right. let's um let's have a seat here and let's talk a little bit about it so we've seen the RV inside and out first things first what do you like about it so my three biggest likes are, are what we do differently with American Coach. It starts with your chassis, construction, and design. As, as we mentioned earlier, we start with uh, Freightliner Custom Chassis and our Liberty Bridge. So we eliminate those C channels that are industry standard, put in place two big 8 inch I beams that run the whole length of the floor for a more smooth, stable drive, less chassis twist. Um, getting to construction, we haven't hit on that much yet. Um, Everything's interlocked together. Our sidewalls, floor, and roof are all interlocked with extruded aluminum, and we also use no Luon in our exterior fiberglass. So it's just a better built box of a house on top of the strongest foundation in the industry with our Liberty Bridge. And then lastly, my like is, is the design of this coach. Um, American Coach is a notch above when we go to modern design. It's, it's a very clean look in here, as, as Tommy mentioned, paired well with, with the black ice uh, fixtures and, and hardware throughout here and our appliances. It's just a, a different look than what you see out there in the industry. Very modern. You know, we really didn't talk too much about the uh, construction, um, just a little piece there, but that interlocking um, structure, um, when I was at the factory last time doing the, the training, um, we really talked a lot about that. You have vacuum bonded floors, you have vacuum bonded roof, vacuum bonded walls, no Luan whatsoever, no Asdell or any type of backer for it. Your fiberglass on the exterior is just a really thick piece of fiberglass. That's why they've done so well at essentially eliminating delamination because they don't have anything that can expand in there to cause that. Um, but really the, the power lock system as far as that interlocking frame that you have on top of it, we talked about the chassis, but that frame, I mean, it literally interlocks with an overlap piece at each corner of the RV. Um, not only does that prevent water from getting in there as a whole, um, but it acts as a gusset to strengthen that edge. Instead of just being drilled down on top of it, I mean, it literally locks it in so it holds it much tighter. And on top of the frame you have here, you just can't beat that. Uh, another thing we didn't talk about while we're talking about this is the, uh, this has a molded fiberglass roof. Um, it's not a fiberglass sheet that's stripped down. It's actually a molded piece, just like a boat hull. That is a great um, addition. You know, we talk a lot about the process and the construction here. There are still brands out there that are using wood and um, and even that batten style insulation as opposed to a vacuum bonded bead foam uh, piece. So it's a big difference in the longevity of how this vehicle is going to operate. American Coach has been around for, I think it's uh, 34 years now. Um, and they're gonna, th there's coaches out there that come in on trade 25 years old or so, and, and they're still strong as ever, running great um, chassis handling the right way. They're not squeaky coaches, even 20 years old. So I think that that's a huge uh, part of what makes this in. Now I gotta talk about the things I like. I have to say that the technology here is, I mean, it's the best of the best. The, the combination of Freightliner's tech and the chassis with your collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, um, and everything you have there pairs so well um, with the technology that you have in the actual house operation. That Firefly system is just very intuitive. It's easy to use. It has uh, great tech built into that, um, and its connectivity outside of being present is top of the line. Also, there's more controls for it. There's an extra control above the bed, in the bedroom, um, up in here, and everything is put in a very good place as far as where your outlets are um, and, and just having access to it in the places that you need it the most. I think their technology is best of the best. I, I have to go with um, uh, the chassis overall ride. It's it's just very um, automotive in nature. We, we drive a lot of different brands here and then when you sit in the driver's seat of this it's a big 45 foot motorhome but it feels just like driving a normal car as far as how your technology is all built in there so I think I'm definitely a fan of that. And the last part I have to say is a big plus is the living room portion of this floor plan. This is a huge couch. It's very comfortable. You can comfortably sit in here and um, and it just feels more residential in nature. It's going to be great for entertaining, um, or even if you wanted to lay out on this couch, you can comfortably do so. Um, across from this full wall slide, you just turn the camera to look this way. I mean, look, this is a hallway. It's just a huge 
nice layout, gives you a ton of space. Um, when you go to a 45 foot coach like this, you're looking for more space. And having this layout the way that you do makes this incredibly comfortable. I've always said that the 45 Dream is, is one, it's one of my two favorite American coach um, vehicles. The 45K, I mean, come on, you can't beat that. But the 45A Dream, I think is the best value 605 horsepower um, motor coach that you can find. And that's its own separate tier of motorhome to go to the X15 like that. I think that bang for your buck, you can't beat it. This coach has features that are in excess of RVs that are $100,000 more. So that's just a huge, um, huge benefit as far as this motorhome as it would compare to others in this same category. Now here we are at the end of the video. I want to thank everybody again for taking a look at us. If you're enjoying it, like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment. If you have a question, of course, reach out with us there. This is going to be one of the biggest parts of this RV and that's going to be the pricing because right now it is incredible pricing on this exact unit here, the American Dream 45A. This is a 23 model and 24s are right around the corner. So we have a huge motivation to sell these off. And then on top of that, Taylor here is giving us some extreme help behind the scenes to get this RV pricing way, 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 way down. So the MSRP of this vehicle is $915,810. Way up there, almost a million bucks. And we've got a huge, uh, what is it, $316,000 discount. $316,000 off to our sale price right now of $499. That's under a half mil for a brand new, full warranty American Dream. I don't think you can beat that value anywhere. So if you're interested in becoming an owner, give me a call. If you have some particular questions about this unit, um, I'd be happy to help. If there's anything I don't know the answer to, I'm gonna call my buddy here. Uh, Taylor and ask him for some help too. I just want to thank you for checking out the video again. And Taylor, anything to say before we let the folks go? Nope, I appreciate everyone's time today and it was good hanging out with Tom today at General RV and on to the next one and see you guys next time.